Hello and good evening. Welcome to Faithfully His Fridays. So, I know it's early hours of Saturday morning here. It's not quite Friday, but it's Friday somewhere in the world. Um, I need to be consistent with these. I know I didn't give you a time this evening, but um, I've been out celebrating a friend's birthday. It was a great evening. We just got involved in fellowship and the opportunity didn't arise to do this earlier. So I am being faithful to my Friday commitment to yourselves and going ahead and sharing this right now. Hi Kim, shouldn't you be in bed? Um, so for those that don't know me, <laughs> look Kim, I've got these Faithfully His Fridays and I posted that I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna go to bed shortly, but I need to just get this message out, all right? Uh, but you can sleep, it's fine. So Kim's my sister for those that don't know. Um, and we're in the same house. So my name's Gazen Soida, for those that don't know me. Hello Shannon, thank you for joining me. So I'm going to keep it short today, but this is a message that's been really close to my heart this week. And it's one that I really want to share from the heart, especially to the women. Um, the women in waiting more so, but also to the married women. <laughs> a little banter with me and my sister there. So for those that don't know me, my name's Gazen Soida. I am a minister, teacher, advocate, for Lord Jesus Christ, but also by profession. Um, so today I want to speak about the difference between single and wife in waiting. And some people may be like, what is the difference? You're both single, you're both not married. What's the difference today? It's going to be clear today. Um, so Faithfully His Fridays is about being faithful to God, being faithful to our season and what God's given us and to utilise it for the best that we can, to just give God all the glory. Hey sisters, thank you so much for joining. So, I'm going to get into the message. So, difference between single and wife in waiting. A single is someone who is one entity, right? They're, they're just one. There's nothing else joined, it's just one, you know, like a single fruit, a single, um, single anything is just one, right? The definition is just one. Um, it's when we talk about singleness, we talk about a season and we talk about them not being married. Hey, Camilla, thank you so much for joining, sis. God bless you. So singleness is talking about a season. So I don't care if you have a boo, a bae, a fiance, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, you're single. You're not married. You're one. You're one person. You're one being. So before Adam was married, he was a single. Before, um, before anyone joins together in one before the Lord, they are single, right? So we got that. Single is one, not joined together um, with anyone else, or they shouldn't be joined together with anyone else out of, out of marriage. Um, a wife in waiting is very different. Yes, she's in that season of singleness. So men, I'm sorry, I'm talking to us ladies tonight. Uh, because I'm a woman, I can relate to women. So a wife in waiting, yes, she's one, but she has already started planning. She's already started identifying with who God created her to be. Um, one character we know in the Bible that speaks on this is Esther, right? So Esther, before she came to the palace, she was a single. She was an eligible woman who was, you know, ready to consider marriage. Right, so before you are in a place to consider marriage, hello to those joining, um, before she's in a place to consider marriage, she was a single. And then when she was of age to consider marriage, she becomes a wife in waiting and she was invited to the palace and she went through, we know, a season of preparation before she could be brought before the king. It makes me really think, like, why? Why did she need the season of preparation before she could be brought before the king? And it's because as a single, we think like a single, right? We think about ourselves, we think about what's best for us, we think about all we need to, ourselves, the one, right? But as a wife, you need to cultivate this mindset. My sister Gisette, she's got a great book saying, uh, for singles, Cultivate a Marriage Mindset. So as this transition starts happening into a wife in waiting, she's cultivating the mindset 
of a wife and you might think yeah but she's not a wife yet how can she cultivate this mindset it's easy the word of god says in isaiah 54 it says um a maker is <laughs> is her husband cory faithfully hears fridays fridays we're not gone to saturdays yes yes it's saturday morning but it's fridays thank you for joining so isaiah 54 says her maker is her husband so she understands that yes she's not married but she's now cultivating this marriage mindset and what better way to do it by joining um, and partnering and being one with her Lord and maker who the word says is her husband. So she starts treating the Lord as her husband. So instead of just being about her, she's now focusing on the Lord and being like, Lord, what can I do to serve you today? Lord, how can I be about your business? How can I help you? How can I... Um, progress you how can i you know the word says to be about the father's business yes we do that by being about um our maker's business right um, and going back to esther i believe this transition from when she was brought to the palace through the preparation stage to the time that she was brought before her king this was a time of pruning this was a time that she you know we hear about her washing about with these scents and you know it's about putting the wife scent it's almost got a perfume here somewhere like this is a spray so it's like literally squirting wife scent right because there's an aroma that comes around oh you know you can tell when a person's a wife and when they're a single you could tell when they're focused on being themselves and when they're focused on serving as a wife she starts learning what the role of a wife is she starts acting and practicing the role as of a wife she starts learning submission she starts learning how to to um create the atmosphere needed in the home she starts serving her household she starts um learning the purpose and power of a woman like i used to think women were quite weak that they needed to step up like men until i realized the beauty of a woman and what she was created to be. I believe that this time uh, Esther started utilizing her time as a single. And I believe she started, you know, just catching the revelations. We know she had a relationship with God. I know that she would have been, you know, really spending time with the word of God, start being in the Lord's presence. And you better believe that when, when a woman, when anyone is in the Lord's presence, they're gonna start taking on the Lord's scent. It's like being in a at a house that just cooked freshly baked bread or cake. You start smelling that scent, and then that scent often, often when you cook food, that scent starts coming upon you because you've been in that area and that space. And I believe that's what Esther went through. She went through this season where she was just in the Lord's presence, and she was just being cultivated to be a wife. She was being cultivated to to transform the way she thought. And Isaiah fifty also speaks about expanding her tent thinking big thinking grand um and then it goes on to say the lord is your ma your maker is your husband so i believe this is what esther was doing and that's the difference between a single just thinking about themselves going through life them on their own um just being focused on you know who they are their surroundings and that's it and then a wife in waiting isn't focused on being a single she starts thinking of um, how can I serve other people? How can I empower the men that are in my life right now? How can I serve whomever I can? How can I serve in the church? How can I, um, and quite often what we do is we find ourselves in service. So that's the difference between a single and a wife in waiting. She knows her purpose. She knows why she was created. She knows her role as a wife and her power as a wife. Um, and I hope I can expand on these through time, but today I'm going to keep it short. So a wife in waiting isn't focused on her surroundings. She's focused, she isn't focused on being a single. She, her mind isn't even on singleness and being alone. Like I was just thinking, I was, I was driving home from um, a birthday party I was at. Um, I was just thinking, I just don't even feel like I'm on my own. Yes, there was people there with couples. There was people that we were just talking. I didn't feel like I was a single. I know we're here so many singles, just like, oh yeah, everyone else is in couples and it got really uncomfortable. I didn't feel that way because I know I'm satisfied by Christ. And that may sound a bit crazy to some, but to me it works. And 
you know, when the Lord truly satisfies you, you're not going to be focused on your relationship status. You're going to be focused on who he created you to be. And I believe women that we need to get to that stage where we're wives already. And um, this is going to shock a few people, but I'm going to say it because I truly believe it. Just because you have a ring doesn't make you your wife. I'm going to say it again, just because you have a ring, it doesn't make you a wife. Um, so many people get married, they get married and they're, um, they're like, oh, well, I'm a wife now. No, it isn't. You are what you repeatedly do. We hear this time and time again. If you don't think like a wife, you're not a wife. If you don't act like a wife, you're not a wife. If you don't serve as a wife or if you don't actually understand what a wife's role is and you don't partake in that, then that doesn't make you a wife it makes you a married person with a single mindset and then we look around and we wonder why there's so many divorces right one way to stop divorce actually learn what a role of a wife is and what a role of a husband is before marriage know what you're committing to I know to look at my past did I know exactly what a wife entailed and was I doing it in previous relationships no Obviously, I wasn't a wife in previous relationships, but no, I only after I allowed the Lord to really cultivate me and cultivate my mindset in this area did I start thinking as a wife. You <laughs> just preach right there. Well, that's that's you know the Lord has put this on my heart. Um, you are what you repeatedly do. So right now in this season that you're in, um, it may be a season of singleness, but what are you doing in it? Are you actually taking on the role of the season that you desire to become? We know that, um, you know, here we go. Um, you can't go where the mind doesn't already take you. Sorry, I've not said that properly. You can't, your mind, mm, you can't go anywhere unless you think it first. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. As a woman thinks in her heart, so is she. If you think yourself a wife, you are a wife already. The Lord makes you a wife. We know that when Eve was presented to Adam, he saw her as a wife. He didn't see her as a woman, as a single. He didn't see her as anything but the wife and the wife that he desired and wanted. And, you know, we know that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. It's not he who finds a single woman finds a good thing because that single woman's still thinking as a single woman. She isn't focused on service. She isn't focused on submission. She isn't focused on being who God created her to be. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. So that makes me believe that we need to be wives before the ring before the ring and in this we need to be faithful to him before we can be faithful to him can i get some like a witness here we need to know this um and as i said earlier this is a great way to stop divorce rates let's know what we're getting into let's know the purpose that god intended for our lives and let's know what we want like so many people say oh i desire marriage you aren't ready for marriage because you're just too selfish i'm just going to put it out there too many people going into marriage with a single mindset and we need to cultivate it before time a single finds it so hard to go uh, to get into marriage and then it work they find they find so many struggles we need to get to places where we're wives in waiting um i'm preaching to women because i speak to women we need to get to a place where we're a wife in waiting. And a wife knows her worth. She knows her value. And she doesn't settle for punks or losers or whatever else you call them nowadays. She knows who she is because she allowed the Lord to cultivate her. Esther knew who she was. So when she got an audience with her king, he he saw her as a wife. He saw her as a queen. He was like, this is the one. Out of all of the women that I've seen, that I've laid eyes on... Out of all, every woman that I can have, this is the one that I want. This is my wife. And that's what you want your husband to ultimately say. You want him to see you and identify you as his wife. I hear so many testimonies of men just being like, I knew she was a wife straight away, just by the way she carried herself. So my question to you women, are you a single or are you a wife in waiting? There's a huge difference. Buster's jokes, players. Okay, all right. I don't really use those terms, but thanks for enlightening me here, Corey. Um, hey, Demetrius, thank you for joining. So, singles, you're single or a wife in waiting, you need to decide. You need to decide what you want. If you want to be a single and you're happy being a single, there's no problem with that. Just know where you are and know that the 
to make the transition easier for you as women of God, the wife in waiting, the white in waiting, waiting stage is where we need to get to. And I believe that we need to see this in other women. We need to cultivate this alongside other women. And one thing that I've had on my heart to do for some time, and I've put it together already, is a group wife in waiting. And this is a wife in waiting academy where we actually come together and we are being cultivated, we're being cultivated to think like a wife before the ring. So we're being faithful to him before we can be faithful to him. We are spending time in the presence of God. We are looking at the wives that we desire to be and we are um, really seeking the Lord in that. We are, you know, taking our minds where we want to be. You know, as a man thinks in his heart, as a woman thinks in her heart, so is she. We are thinking ourselves to where we want to be. We are using the word of God to just really meditate on and see who God created us to be as women of God. We are um, using this season to utilize our purpose and to be in our calling so that when we we get to a stage that our husbands will find us or, you know, that we get in the presence of our husbands, they're going to know who we are from the very beginning. Um, God is so awesome. He's so faithful. My question to you is, are you single or are you wife in waiting? And if you're interested in finding out more about this wife in waiting course, please inbox me. There is literally, I think, three free places available. I know a few people said they're going to get back to me. Please do so. We're going to start, um, start really really soon because we're just so eager to get this process going to get um to be as esters and just prepare for our kings and you better believe our kings are going to be so so blessed because we've spent this time to just be the women of god that god created us to be we're allowing god to make us the wives um because a ring doesn't make anyone a wife God's the one that makes a person a wife and you know true submission not that fake kind that you kind of have that feeling inside and don't really want to do what you're being told to do or um but we are allowing God to make us who we're created to be but yeah difference between single and a wife and waiting it's quite big but you choose what you want to be and you surround yourself or put yourself in the atmosphere of God so that he can create this inside you. And I know since I've connected with women of God, they've just inspired me in this because I had this revelation before, but once I got connected with my sisters in Christ, I just, and then they started identifying in me, like you don't actually act like a single because God's already cultivated the mindset in me. Um, he gets all the glory. I didn't do it myself. I wanted to, but I just didn't know how to. He gets all the glory. So I hope this has blessed someone. If you're interested in the Wife in Waiting Academy, please give me an inbox. Um, men, sorry, we love you, but you can't join because it's wives. Um, I pray that there's a men's group that you all can join and there's a man that can minister to you all. Um, God is so faithful. And when we put, when we dedicate our lives to him just say lord use me make me everything that you created me to be he he absolutely will so as we spend this time in these seasons that we're in and growing faithful to him you better believe that he he rewards he brings the rewards he brings the desires of our hearts he's just so faithful his word says so he's not a man that he should lie his um promises are yes and amen always we just need to start believing that who he created is already inside us we need to start finding this person inside us and just start being and existing um let's not focus so much on the doing but just the being being everything that we're created to be because he loves us he's so faithful and i know my heart is and i'm pretty sure your heart is too to be faithfully his Hey, 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 Edith, happy birthday, sir. <laughs> um, if anyone has any questions between the single wife in waiting, I'm here to answer. Um, God loves you. He really does. He sent me here to tell you how much he loves you. And you know what? It's, a, it's an individual journey. I was sharing with some people earlier today. It's an individual journey that God has us all on. And there's different times and different seasons in which he wants us to do things. And that, that's fine, but let's draw closer to him. We cannot fail when we draw closer to the Lord. He loves us. He's ready to just pour out on us. And he's ready to just create 
um, creating us this new heart that he has for us. So I've about got to go to bed. I've got to go to bed now. Um, I'm working tomorrow morning. So I thank God for perfect rest, perfect sleep. I hope you all have a great evening. Um, whatever time of day is there for you. Um, and just remember, we need to be faithfully his before we can be faithfully his. Um, let God do that work in us right now while we have the time, while we have the time to focus on the Lord. Because you better believe when you're married, you're not going to have as much time to focus on the Lord. You're going to have, um, you're going to seek to, you know, meet the needs of your spouse. You're going to seek to, your, to look after your children and spend time with your children. Use this precious, precious time that we have, this gift that we get to wake up to. Um, and tomorrow isn't promised. Let's be everything that we can be. And let's serve the Lord right now, here today, in being faithfully his. I love you. God bless you. I've still got a few slots in terms of coaching if anyone's available. Um, sorry, if anyone wants that, it's available. I'm really tired. <laughs> Can anyone tell? Um, yep, yeah, I love you. God loves you. Any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to serve you all and add value to you. So I pray that this has added value to you. If it has, please share. Please share. Someone else needs to hear this today. Um, God bless you. I love you. The Lord loves you even more. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.